Right, well I joined the crew in 1983, in fact almost exactly 30 years ago, uh, when I moved to Sunnan from Bluebirth and I was made coxswain in 1990 when Morris Hutchins retired and I've been coxswain ever since. The lifeboat is here to save people, to help people who are in danger of losing their lives at sea, be it through drowning, through fire, all fashions of problems. This boat is a 53 foot, 60 meter, 25 knot lifeboat. She's got two 1,000 horsepower engines, which gives her a top speed of 25 knots. A fantastic machine, has a crew of seven, self riding lifeboat, so if she gets rolled over in a big wave, uh, she'll come up. She costs nearly three million pounds. On a fine day, she can carry up to 100 survivors, and she's equipped to cope with pretty well anything that gets thrown at us. There are two of us here full time. I'm the coxswain, so I'm full time, and the mechanic is full time. The rest of the crew are volunteers, so they're all going about their normal business, and the first thing we know normally is that we get a page. So we all carry these bleepers, and if it goes bleep, you do your best to get here as quick as is reasonably possible. The RLI is a charity, so the general public actually decide to give enough money to run the lifeboats and long may that continue. Lifeboats in small places particularly tend to have the same surnames in their crews down over the generations and uh, we're no exception here, there's, there's folklore that this, uh, this station's boat went to sea with a complete crew of Georges once and you can only just imagine that they must have all fallen out before they got out of the bay and drunk all the brandy which we carried or the boats carried then. Uh, yeah, it must have been a comedy show but seriously, and there is a serious angle to it, um, my two sons are in the crew throughout the institution it's always been an issue uh, in very bad weather not to take all members of a family be they all lifeboat crew not to take them all uh, one of the best jobs we we did i suppose was 1994 uh, that was in the mersey class lifeboat and uh, we had a, a crabber uh, a fishing boat with a fell propeller, he, he, he got his gear up his prop, so he was disabled and drifted in a, in a southerly gale um, four or five miles off here. Um, and we went and put a rope on him, and the weather was deteriorating very quickly. And although we were towing him as fast as we dared, uh, we were still going backwards due to the tide and, and, the, and the sea. So we got uh, Pen Lee lifeboat from New to come and give us a hand. We, Neil Brockman was coxswain at the time. Uh, we got hoisted up to London for that job for, for a medal each, which was very nice. Um, but even nicer was the fact that we managed to get the boat safely into New Lynn with the crew safe and well. And, uh, that's all we're really interested in, but it's, it's nice every now and again for somebody to look up and say, actually, that was a good job. Bad jobs, bad jobs are when you don't succeed and when someone loses their life and that's, that's pretty grim. Um, the worst by far here was when Morris was coxswain that we got called to Land's End when four boys had got washed off the, the cliff on a school visit. I remember coming in from that job and picking up my two who were little tackers then and uh, give them a cuddle because um, that was pretty tragic and it must have been desperate for the parents because they weren't there. Every now and again this lifeboat here launches and goes and saves three or four people in one go 
And when that happens, looking in dispassionately from outside, you'd say, right, that place has paid for itself for another five years. We don't seek any more than just the satisfaction of going to help somebody. Every now and again you get a card saying thank you, or you might even get a bottle of champagne at Christmas. And that is absolutely brilliant.